You know, all year we've been focusing on hunger issues through the Fox 12 Hunger Free Project in partnership with Fred Meyer. And today, a big change is coming for families facing those issues. Emergency food assistance benefits that started during the pandemic have now ended. And that is why the Sunshine Division is stepping in to help. Fox 12's Mia Villanueva headed to the division's food pantry in Wilsonville to learn more about the ongoing efforts. I'm at the Sunshine Division's warehouse in Wilsonville. This used to be in Albertsons. Take a look around. Still kind of looks like a grocery store with all the food they got, but they go through this food quickly and they are thinking they'll go through it even quicker now that those emergency benefits are ending. The average household in Oregon will see a 40% reduction to their food benefits each month. So that means a lot more people in need. I'm joined with the Sunshine Division's Executive Director, Kyle Camberg, and that need that you're seeing increasing, that's something that you've really been seeing over the past few years, right? Absolutely. You know, unfortunately it started with the pandemic, but we also had uh, kids at home for the better part of a year doing online school. We've had wildfires and ice storms and ice storms, you know, weather events that none of us have ever seen in Oregon. Uh, and then, of course, we all know about record inflation and now the, the SNAP benefits being cut back. So it's really been one gut punch after the other for the better part of three years. And our new normal is serving about four times as many households every single week as we did in 2019. So we've never been busier. And unfortunately, we're expecting yet another tremendous spike in need. So that's where those donations really come into play. How can people donate? Uh, if you go to sunshinedivision.org, you can sign up to volunteer. You can sign up to host a food driver. You can make that financial gift. And whether it's Sunshine Division or whatever food pantry is in your zip code, wherever that is, uh, wherever this broadcast goes to, local food relief organizations that are on the front lines really need the help more than ever. That's not just a Portland thing. That's not just an Oregon thing. This is across the country. People are unfortunately having to access emergency food more than ever before in the history uh, you know, uh, of our state and of our country. So um, when you donate, it's going to fill, fill these boxes and these boxes are going out immediately six days a week in our community around the metro area. Gotcha. You're not only in need of donations, you're also in need of volunteers. You actually shared with me a little bit earlier, yeah. these volunteers are newly hired officers with the Portland Police Bureau. They're helping out around the precinct and this is part of their duties right now. Say hi guys. Hey, hi. great job. Uh, I know that it takes them about, with four of them, about a minute for each box. So you'll need more volunteers to get all these boxes out, right? Absolutely. We have everything from social service organizations to, you know, volleyball teams and businesses that come out with groups of 20 and 25. We set up the assembly line multiple times a week. We have food sorting. We also need help at our pantry. So there's, uh, and again, it's not just Sunshine Division. Wherever you hear this, see this, your local food relief organization can really use your help. And uh, we, we, we couldn't do it without amazing folks like this that help us execute on our mission every single day. Awesome. Kyle, thank you. And for everyone watching at home, if you want to help out your local food banks, there's a really easy way to do that. Just shop at Fred Meyer. This all ties into our Fox 12 Hunger Free Project, by the way. So if you shop at Fred Meyer, round up at checkout, that extra money will go to local food banks, including uh, to the Sunshine Division. So donate when you can. For now, guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio.